What's up guys? This week I'll be reviewing Shadow Warrior. It's a game about a hitman with a samurai sword who fights demons. Sounds like a recipe for success to me. The game is brought to us by Flying Wild Hog, and it looks like they didn't skimp on the blood and dismemberment. But will Shadow Warrior behead the competition, or will it drown in a pool of its own entrails? Let's find out. Shadow Warrior is a first-person shooter in which the player takes control of Lo Wang, a hired hitman and also errand boy who is on his way to retrieve a sword for his employer, when things suddenly get real demon-y. Actually, it's more than just a first-person shooter because Wang's main weapon is a samurai sword, so I guess it's kind of a first-person shooter slash first-person slasher. Anyway, in addition to his sword, Wang can wield a crossbow, a rocket launcher, and even a disembodied demon head that fires some kind of laser. It's a pretty cool array of weapons, and the player can collect 9 weapons in total. Each weapon can be customized and upgraded, and they all feel vastly different. I gotta say, Shadow Warrior did a great job on the guns, and I especially like the fact that the weapons can be upgraded to have an alternate fire mode, like this crossbow which can also fire explosive bolts. In addition to being able to upgrade your arsenal, you can also learn new moves with the sword, like this 360 spin move that can help you cut your way out of a battle, or this move that pops enemies up in the air for some easy slice and dice. And if weapons and skills weren't enough, your character can also level up their health and stamina and critical hits through the powers skill tree. It's good to see that a game allows you such a varied amount of weapon and skill customization. Most of the skills were extremely fun to use and helped keep the combat from getting stale by allowing me to switch things up whenever I wanted. Let's talk gameplay. The action is fun and frantic. You really need to know which weapons and skills work best given the enemies you're dealing with. So you're constantly switching weapons or hitting a series of keys to trigger one of your special abilities. You also get points for doing certain cool kills, like Nailed, where you pin an enemy to a hard surface. This kind of reminded me of one of my favorite games of all time, Bullet Storm. I think anyone who's played it remembers the awesome different skill shots and trick shots you can perform. In Shadow Warrior, you can even spend these points to upgrade certain abilities. The one thing that would have been nice is if they had included a list of the different skill shots the way Bullet Storm did, so I can see how many points each one is worth and which weapons it requires. But overall, the combat is amazing. It's actually kind of hard to put into words. Just look how crazy these battles get. The enemy variety is great. You've got little annoying demons that are easily chopped up, big mean demons that need a little more firepower, and these invincible asshole demons that are only vulnerable in that one spot they f***ing refuse to expose. You've also got the occasional Yakuza gang members that are mostly there to make you feel godlike with all your demon powers, but probably my favorite enemies were the demon bunnies that showed up accompanied by death metal. These little guys are vicious. All right, let's talk story. I actually enjoyed the story thoroughly, despite the fact that it got kind of ridiculous at times. Lo Wang is forced to team up with a demon named Hoji to retrieve three magic swords, and the back and forth between these two characters is great. I always appreciate snappy dialogue and characters with a wise guy personality. The story is told through various cutscenes in which you see glimpses of why the whole demon invasion started in the first place, and it all comes together very well at the end. As for navigating through the game, it's slightly more difficult than your average game because there is no indicator where to go and no map. Now I'm a guy with a bad sense of direction, so I really would have loved it if you could enable a map. There's like one or two puzzles, but they're pretty weak. Really there's nothing breaking up all the combat, and I kind of feel like it needed something. Maybe a stealth segment? I don't know, maybe a minigame something to break up all the combat. You're usually either fighting or searching for one of these lanterns to open the next door area, and I actually got kind of sick of lantern searching after the third or fourth time I ran into a magically sealed door. Moving on, let's talk visuals. The game is pretty. Everything from the bamboo forest to the mountain fortress later in the game look like something out of a Japanese painting. The blood sprays are excessive and slightly corny, but it is satisfying to see your enemies gush copious amounts of blood all over the place. The way enemies explode into pieces also had me giggling with glee. Now there's no multiplayer or co-op, but the game doesn't need it. It stands on its own as an excellent single player experience. Alright, so let's go over the pros and cons. On the pro side, fast, frantic combat, lots of awesome weapons, lots of badass skills, dismemberment, well-written dialogue, and demon bunnies. On the con side, I don't know, I would have liked a map and a list of skill shots, maybe something to break up the combat, but honestly these are minor complaints. The game's awesome and addicting, and much like Bulletstorm, it probably won't sell that well and will never get a sequel. But I liked it, so Shadow Warrior gets 9 demon bunnies out of 10. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.